Let's go. Oh, damn. Now come here. No, me, bro. Oh, God. No. This right here is a diabolical position me put in. This right was a sharpshooter in terms of freakiness and pain. What? Eat a dick, shit. All right, Boomer starts off with Broly landing on Earth in a sand pod. How? I don't know, considering the last time we saw Broly, he got put in that Zaw. I mean, you see this happen to someone and believe he should just be straight up be vaporized. Like, bruh, exploded from the inside out. It cuts the trunks of Videl and Goten gathering up the Dragon Balls. Why, you ask? Just to see Shinron. It's shit like this that makes me wish there were consequences for wasting that nigga time. Like, could you imagine being an almighty dragon getting summoned just because someone wants to see what you look like? Man, yo! Oh my god! Bro, sometimes the shadow dragons and shit in mechanic. They end up finding a village while looking for the last dragon ball. Oh, great one! Please take this youngin as a sacrifice. Man, what the hell y'all doing with my grandbaby? They said they was finna give me candy if I come up here, Grandpa. I heard candy. What the? So, uh, is there candy? The only candy we got here is like California snow. And you know, uh, Finn. Hey, how did y'all even get here? We flew. Oh, nah, I gotta lay off that shit. So these villagers are trying to sacrifice this little girl. I don't even know if I can say that on YouTube, but Videl's like, yo, let us handle the monster for you. But this old dude who looks like old boy from Cloudy with a chance of meatball just pretty much come out of nowhere and was like, y'all ain't got it like that, bro. Then he explains how seven years ago, Broly crashed to the forest and started going to Rampage pretty much every year. Yeah, that's a load of shit. Hey, who you think you talking to? I'm talking to your crusty ass. Please, miss, calm down. We've already tried to fight it. One guy survived and Russ said his eye was like seven feet tall shooting balls of fire. The people call him Magic Johnson because he was burning people alive. Trunks offers to exterminate the beast exchange for the Dragon Ball on bruh neck. The people of the village end up agreeing to that and now they sit away in a pot. But yo, Sans are low-key the definition of big bad people, yo. Yo, this kid Goten started crying because he couldn't get no food. And I think you know where this is gonna go. What? What happened to Kakarot? Kakarot. Kakarot! The demon himself has awoken, but first, we see an oversized ceratosaurus, and bruh absolutely got clowned. I ain't gonna lie, they hit bruh once and turned bruh in the stew, and nah, that is crazy work. They ain't even do anything to get cooked like that. While the people of the village are eating, we see an ominous green light, then it cuts to morning, and nah, you can't tell me this nigga ain't got aura, bruh. You must be Magic Johnson. Whoa! <laughs> Hitting a girl, really? Come here. Huh? Ah! Dang, Videl, you ain't learned from fighting that one guy at the martial arts tournament? Kakarot. Kakarot. Um, isn't that what Vegeta calls my dad? Kakarot. Hey, bro, that's not me, Kakarot. Oh, God, please. The first thing this menace does off wake up is blow up the area, beat up Videl, rock trunks in his face for absolutely no reason at all, then hit Goten in his face with something vicious. Broly throws trunks and Goten in the water and started letting off shots like, bruh, chill, these are kids. Gohan senses Broly key and starts sliding. Eat this and that. Die. Whoa, damn. Anchor, he stopped moving. Maybe he's nodding off. Ah! Ah! Oh my God. Oh wait, that wasn't so. The fact they survived this is low-key impressive, and God, look at the formation a seven-foot-tall man got in upon their heads and like that. Like, for goodness sake, why is her feet almost touching your back? It's not that serious. That boy Broly wasn't done, though. He pulled out that signature move only for them to dodge and punch Broly in the face just to do negative damage. They got dropped again and came up with a plan to use the last Dragon Ball to wish Broly away. Trunks started distracting them by doing... Put yourself on the plate. Flip yourself over. Put a little seasoning on yourself, because what? You're cooked, Mike. Yeah, bruv, this is the next generation of protect Earth called the GGs. We're cooked. Come here. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, yeah, boy, had a jump field. Time to finish you off. Ah! And you damn. Yeah. You know, I take it back. Trunks is putting in some pain. Keywords, some. He got folded as soon as the camera cut away. Broly got little dude fearing for his life. And just look how bro popped out the waterfall at the T-Rex from the Lost World. Too bad Trunks is actually cold with it. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta respect it. Goten came in clutch with the last Dragon Ball. They tried to make a wish, but they sold. Them boys got a defective Dragon Ball. Cause I've never seen that bit happen before. Goten, hurry up. I know I ain't tripping. Cause I used these Trunks the other day. Goten, hurry up. Ah, ah. Gonna be myself, gun. Ah! Huh? Uh. You're like R. Kelly now instead of Magic Johnson. The transition from the last Broly movie to this one is crazy. The last one had slaves and Broly putting people on t-shirts. This one has Broly getting peed on, bro. Like. 
Come on, man. Hey, Broly ain't let that slide, though. He blew up the whole area, but somehow they survived. Ah! Oh, Kakarot. Not quite. Gohan has arrived to the battlefield and is ready to smoke Broly. I'm surprised you're alive after fighting Broly. You mean Magic Johnson? Bro, what? You know Magic Johnson was a... Kakarot! <laughs> At least he is a big and buff like before. Not letting that happen. Huh? Yeah, we're dead. Not on my watch. Go on, put a berry up to block everyone, but I'm not gonna lie, he did a terrible job. How does Goten and Trunks look worse after being protected from a blast than they did after taking two of these holes back to back? Raw, by the way. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, dick. Now come here. No, oh, me, bro. Oh, God. No. This right here is a diabolical position to be put in. This right was a sharpshooter in terms of freakiness and pain. What? Eat a dick, Jig. Ah, I'll kill you. I, now I just gotta take off. There's no escape. Gohan passed out on a rock that's slowly being covered by lava, but he got saved by Piccolo. How, bro? Actually, I don't know. Bro must got a spider sense when it comes to Gohan. I'm not gonna cap when writing this. I low-key forgot this was Krillin, that not Piccolo. Krillin? Why do you have on Piccolo's fit? Shit, you telling me I don't look raw? This shit heavy as hell, though. Hang on, I gotta take this junk off. Thank God I came just in time. I did not want to fight Broly. No way. Yup. Can I sit this one? Ah! Krillin! <laughs> oh, ah, shit! Now die! Broly started stomping on Gohan and beating him worse than he beat Goku. Like, ah, oh, no! He got my man in the Fajito pose on his knees! He's cooked! <laughs> Not my goat! This is the beginning of the fraud allegations for my dog Gohan. No cap. Well, actually. Nah, nah, yes it is, yes it is, bro, because it's the beginning of the Majin Buu saga, and we all know he wasn't really training like that, so he got weaker. And, uh, this definitely shows, because where was Super Saiyan 2 during this whole fight? I'm saying Super Saiyan 2, Gohan would've put the beats on Broly, or at least put up a better fight to where he's not in the damn bear hug position for, like, the 13th time again. Because this dude, Broly, is squeezing the life out of Gohan. Thank God, Goten Loki a soldier, though. He finna spin back for his big brother. And, uh, Videl was there. Yeah, she did nothing. Enough! You'll pay! Don't be ridiculous! You can't stop a true demon! We're not going out like that! Kame, Kame! Okay, maybe we're going out like that, big bro! God, I really wish Dad was here right now! Yo, is Oh my gosh, I see y'all got y'all some dick. Go to lock in to Gohan, I need more power. You're too weak. Uh, I think I'll just support this from afar. Huh? Now! And boom, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the video. You know, I was going to put Bio Broly in this video as well because I thought this video was going to be too short, but it's actually a pretty good amount of time. And I also felt like the Bio Broly would have just low-key ruined the video because, dude, that movie is bad. I ain't going to cap. So I ain't even going to lie to y'all. I'm not going to cover that movie. Uh, I'm just going to completely skip over it unless there's enough feedback and push to watch for the cover. But thank you guys so much for 30,000, man. That should mean a lot to me, boy. If any of the OG channel members were here when I had like 600 subscribers, they would realize, they would know that I did say my end of the year goal was 10,000. And we just tripled that in the first six months. Y'all going stupid, man. Thank God for making me a Dragon Ball fan. Yes, Lord. Hey, y'all know what's next. We got a Namek Saga video coming out next Saturday. That's going to be just as good as the Tournament of Power video. And should be also like 30 minutes. So I'm definitely going to need you guys to run that up. 
and I know I see y'all asking for the Majin Buu Saga video. Hey, don't worry. I'm setting up some collabs. I got I got a few people on there already. Some people can't do it, but that's all right. But dude, I got I got a creator that does same Dragon Ball content as me that is a little bit bigger than me. I feel like you guys are gonna enjoy that as well. And I got some other creators coming for that one. But just here's the loadout. Here's how it's gonna go. We got Namek Saga next week. Then we're gonna have the cooler metal cooler movie. Then Saiyan Saga. Then we probably gonna end off with like some little chill jump with calm before the storm type video. And then we got the Majin Buu Saga, the video you guys have all been waiting for. So keep your heads out on that, ladies and gentlemen. I ain't gonna keep guys here for much longer though. You guys have an amazing blessed day. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, just like that, I'm out.